Yo, what's up guys? So in our last video, we was learning all about why African Americans are really good at dunking on us in basketball. And in this video, I guess we're gonna make a hard transition straight to Hitler. So don't really know what that's about. Like, comment, subscribe. You got anything to say? Nope. You ready to laugh? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I'm telling you, man, that, that's the funny thing about Hitler. <laughs> Just let me finish. Let, like let, me work my way, let me work my way through this idea. No, that's my, my favorite my favorite sports clip is that Jesse Owens shit. I just love it. Jesse because... Owens. What's Jesse Owens? All right, guys. So Jesse Owens was a American track and field athlete who won four gold medals in the 1936 Olympic Games. That's what's up, man. Shout out to you. Appreciate that. For our country, you won some medals for us. My guy. Their whole angle was fucked up. He made Hitler leave in like the third quarter, right? He's putting down his number one finger, just fucking walking out of the stadium. Jesus Christ. Maybe Hitler was there watching him. <laughs> Maybe. Their whole thing was like, we are going to create a superior race. <laughs> it's like, dude, I think we accidentally already did that. <laughs> yeah, we sent a select group of people to the gym every day for a couple hundred years. It's paying dividends. They're fucking dunking on us every day. <laughs> <laughs> dude, how quiet was that limo ride home with Hitler. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know he was talking crazy shit when they were on the way there. They were all amped up. They are going to dominate Sieg Heil. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> that whole ride home, they're just sitting there all quiet. You're sitting next to an even angrier than usual Adolf Hitler. Oh, no. <laughs> Trying to make some sort of small talk like, hey. Eh. Adolf was on drugs, bro. It he was is on speed. Nice day, isn't it? You know, <laughs> nice boot. Nice day. <laughs> Dude, I gotta admit, man, I'm, I'm fascinated with Hitler, man. I am. Just how the fuck that guy ever came in power. Because does he ever look like he's in a good mood in any of those clips? Everyone just, ah, ah, his fucking hair slapping around. <laughs> there was nobody even in the beginning to be like, dude, is it me or this guy? Was, this guy's a little crazy, huh? This guy's kind of a spaz. Total cock block. You can't even have him around women or nothing, you know? <laughs> no, you know what? It's crazy people can take over shit. That's what it is. Like, regular people, we, I don't know, you just never say shit. You ever notice that? Like, you can be on a bus, 30 decent people, one crazy dude can take over the whole bus, right? Everybody's just sitting there. That is true. Everything's great, <laughs> then one crazy, ah, fuck it, just starts screaming. <laughs> and the second that happens, all 30 people are like, ah, oh, God, everybody's like up against him. Does he got hepatitis? Everybody's freaking out. <laughs> Why doesn't everybody just pounce on the dude? I think every regular person should just have like a chloroform rag, like right in their front shirt pocket. And the second any crazy shit happens, if you're behind it, it's on you. You just pull it out and you take the guy down. <laughs> it's on Everybody you. Everybody jumps on him, you tie him up, and you tattoo possibly the next Hitler across his forehead. You keep an eye on him, right? It's just hard to speak up. That's the shit, you know? Like I was in a Target the other day, right? Not bragging, you know? Not bragging. <laughs> no, what? And I'm standing there with a buddy of mine, right? He's a bouncer. He's a bouncer in this really, like, crazy bar. So he knows, like, all these scumbags. And it just so happens that one of them just so happens to come walking through the target. So my buddy he goes to wave to him, like, hey, man, how's it going? And rather than this guy being like, ah, oh, you know, it's going pretty good, he just launches into this tirade about, like, like immigrants right in the middle of the target. <laughs> He's like, how's it going? I need to be part of that. Tell you how it's going. These goddamn Mexicans keep coming to this country, taking all the fucking jobs. <laughs> Immediately, everybody in line like, ooh, Eminem, let's read the back of these for a while. Oh, look at that glucose. Is he still there? I'm not looking. I looked the last time. It's your turn to look. I am not looking. You just look. This guy was going off. Nobody did shit. Include me. Include me. I wasn't looking at the guy. Even the people who worked at Target, they just kept ringing stuff up. Like, ooh, three socks for a dollar. That's amazing. Think it's going to rain for out? a dollar. Uh, Dude, it was a classic chloroform moment. <laughs> this guy, he was, doing, he was doing like a fucking Hitler open mic, you know? He was just going off. He was learning how to put thoughts together, right? How to speak in front of groups. <laughs> Somebody should just came He's up here. He's pre-Hitler. Put some Skittles on the ground, you take them out, that's it. <laughs> it's over. Just as civilians but nobody did shit. You knew there was like one guy working at Target, like some crazy dude peeking out from the back. Like, I like this guy. This guy's making a lot of sense, right? <laughs> and he follows him out to the parking lot. They jump in his El Camino. Now there's two of them. Right? <laughs> now there's two of them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, in, I'm into uh, conspiracy theory, man. That's my thing. You guys into that shit? <laughs> you read that stuff I do. I think fast food. Fast food, I think, is like a conspiracy. I think additives. that's how they just keep us dumb. You can't even think after a while. You ever notice that shit? <laughs> like, you ever have your whole day planned out, eat one Egg McMuffin, and you're just on the couch? Yeah, you know what? Fuck my dreams. <laughs> 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 my dreams. <laughs> Dude, 
food. It's, it's unbelievable. Healthy food. You can't, you can't even smell it. You have a bag of apples right in front of my face. I, I, my eyes are closed. I can't smell it. <laughs> 200 miles away. Oh, fuck. Is that, is that KFC? Man, what is that? <laughs> well, then you got a bucket of it. We're trying to eat cleaner, man. Because seriously, guys, eating McDonald's gives me a headache. If I eat, if I eat a cheeseburger from McDonald's and drink a Coke from McDonald's, I don't know what it is. I can eat cheeseburgers at home all day. I eat it there. I get a migraine. It's the weirdest thing. You refuse to eat anything like that. <laughs> well, we're just we're trying. I used to, to think it was bougie, but now that I'm getting older, I really realize that that junk is terrible for me, man. I'll I'll mess my whole day up if I eat fast food like that. I'm telling you, you, never notice that. You ever notice whenever the government fucks up, all of a sudden like McDonald's has like a new sandwich, you know? <laughs> no way. <laughs> You're just sitting there screaming at your TV. How can I get pardoned all these CEOs? New McRib. Oh, I'm going to fucking try it. <laughs> Shove it down your face. Back for a limited time. Always when you need it. Yeah. <laughs> the Mc Who gets a McRib? The Mc distraction. Yeah. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, so I have a lot of like, uh, have a lot of fucked up thoughts, man. I do. This is the most recent one I had. You ever drive down the street and see like 30 people up on a sidewalk and you just think, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you don't do it. You just think, Why is that's what like, separates like that, the psychos from the functioning psychos, right? He's classy. Psychos, they just think it, fuck it, they do it. <laughs> they get the wipers going, they make a day out of it, right? <laughs> but as a functioning psycho, not only do you not do it, you actually analyze it. Like, man, if I just leave my hand right here, nobody knows who I am. I move it two degrees over here, I'm on the cover of Newsweek. I am instantly famous, right? Right here, nobody knows me. Just a regular jackass, like, hey, Bill, you want to come to the cookout? You know, maybe you could bring that, that potato salad. It was such a big hit last year. One of the most horrific scenes we've seen in years. Bottles just screwed about. <laughs> You should really go there. Amy's gonna be there. You can strike up a conversation, maybe hook up with her. No indication he even tried to stop. <laughs> <laughs> no indication. <laughs> no, I have those thoughts all the time. <laughs> no. Like recently, my girl took He's me to a street fair, right? You guys ever been to a street fair, you know? They close off the block, right? They close off the block, there's like shawarma, there's like shit made out of buttons, right? Shawarma. Shawarma People young. with no teeth are making keychains, you know? It's a typical <laughs> girlfriend idea. It sucks, and it's gonna take off Saturday, right? <laughs> take it's off gonna Saturday. It's so expensive for everybody. She's like all excited, <laughs> she's like swinging my arm. Oh my God, this is gonna be fucking great, right? <laughs> I'm like praying for lightning, some sort of scaffolding to fall down on my head, you know? <laughs> So she comes up, first place she comes up to is this, this big table, nothing but like homemade jewelry, right? Homemade jewelry, okay? It's got twigs in it, macaroni, it's <laughs> shit. It is a table of shit, right? <laughs> but she loved it, right? She's like, oh my God, this stuff is so funky, right? She's like trying on the earrings. Do you like these? Do you think these are nice, right? I want to be like, no. If they were nice, they'd be in a store, all right? <laughs> There'd be a roof. Some sort of structure would be built around this. This is shit. This is a table of shit. Right? <laughs> I'm kind of like that to you sometimes. I'm sorry, man. Oh, cool. <laughs> like when you try to buy random things that I'm just in my mind, I think they're just a complete scam and a waste of money. <laughs> I just like. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, you wanted to buy that Brussels, and I was just telling you a wash rag is just as fine. They've been working for like a thousand years. Yeah, but who scrubbed the house with it all day yesterday? You did, you did yeah, thank problem. you. Oh, brutal. It's brutal, right? But, but I don't want to be a dick. So I'm like, no, honey, that's great. You know, you know what? I'm going to go get some air, okay? Even though we're outside, I think there's more air to be had, you know? No, because I felt it. I was going to snap. And I literally walked like two, three tables away, and there's this lady standing there with this big table and nothing but muffins, right? Homemade muffins. It's like 85 degrees out. She's standing there with this big table, nothing but muffins. She's got this big stupid, eh, look at the muffins I made. Look at her face. <laughs> and the second I saw that shit, that part of my brain was just like, dude, what would happen if you just came up and just said, hey, lady, are these your muffins? Oh, yeah? I just started going fucking, wham, 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 No. Like, how many of these muffins could I mush before anybody did anything? <laughs> I mean, realistically, I think What's I could have got the whole table. Because even if you saw me doing that shit, it would take at least five to six seconds to process. Like, did they say you can do that? Is, is it like a game? Do you eat the muffin off your fist? That just seems like a waste of pastry. <laughs> you know? Dude, there's no security and shit like that. There's no dude that standing the there. He's pushing the muffins. Okay, I'll, I'm on it. Sir, we're going to have to ask you to leave. They just choked me out. <laughs> so I just started towel. thinking of the horrified, fucked up look in this lady's face as I started slamming these muffins. And out of nowhere, I just started laughing like a maniac. <laughs> I'm like slumped over this fried dough cart. I'm dying. 
My girl looks at me, she's like, what the hell are you laughing at? And like an idiot, I actually tried to explain this fucked up <laughs> Like she was going to get it on some level, right? I'm just sitting there like, I was just thinking. What if I started punching the muffins? You know what I mean? I just started punching them. And she's just looking at me like, why do I go out with you? Dude, but I swear to God, man, if I never broke eye contact the second I started hitting those things, that girl wouldn't even been able to call for help. I would have been in her head. It would have been too personal. She was like, did I go to high school with this guy? Why would you do that? Muffins are a happy food. I don't understand. <laughs> right, listen, I'm out of time. You guys are so much fun. No. Thank you so much for coming out. Gosh, man. I really appreciate it. Thank he you. Is funny. Thank he you is so much. funny. I thought I was watching the genius at work for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I guess he's a functioning psycho. He said, really? he said it's even harder to be a functioning psycho. I have some crazy thoughts like that sometimes. For real. I mean, I'm not going to share them here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. Shout out to Charles P. Jenkins. Oh, he's just walking off. He just did his thing. Now he's just escaping. Going he's back on the subway. Back the streets, yeah. That was good. Guys, that was Bill Burr. Why do I do this? That was a treat, man. I can't believe we're two specials deep so far on this channel. Right. So, babe, what was the funniest part of Bill Burr's performance? Gosh. I thought just, it was a nick, nick, nick. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably that or what was the one that really had me dying? I like when he throws the subtle things like when he said <laughs> I went to Target the other day, not bragging. Like when he just throws just in, little stuff like that. Like subtle things. I right. really I really appreciate this. And I like his transitions too, the the Hitler one. <laughs> yeah. That that was funny. What Bill Burr's the best at really to me is creating different characters with his facial expressions. And he has such a contrast of he goes from like a super positive character to just himself, which is just a very nagging, pessimistic person. Mm -hmm. And I think that transition's so funny, man. I oh. think he does the best woman in person. Like yeah, he, goes, he does. He goes, no, no, listen, listen, you, listen, you're such an asshole. <laughs> Remember when he said <laughs> yeah. that? That part was, that to me was. No, when he talked about throwing the picnic, that thing, I still think about that. To me, it's like, you know, when you're doing this special and you're going through it, like the, like the little thing that I just acted out right there, you get one shot to nail that. And if you don't do that just perfectly, then it's awkward. It's it's not neat. Like it's as it's as tenth of what it could be. Right. And I just think that that man either practiced that a million times or he was just really lightning just you know what I'm saying? Maybe just lightning struck a bottle that night because that, that dude was definitely on it. I just felt like he was in the zone for real and he right. just wasn't shy. And that's something that I really admired about it was when it comes time to do stuff like that, like make those little characters and stuff, if you're holding back even the tiniest amount, it's just not gonna come right. out. And he just really let it rip. Right, man. so you kind of so, have to go for it. Yeah, and that's yeah. something like with making YouTube videos. Like every time I talk, I stutter because I don't go for it. <laughs> yeah. It's a weird balance to like try not to get on people's nerves, right? Yeah. But, I definitely don't act like myself on YouTube. I do. It's I have a hard. question for you about this special. Is it true that there's type things as girlfriend shit, like what? that we like to do? Like oh, dude, that yeah. you they, so you act like you like to do it, but you really don't. Well, the truth it's all a trade off to me. So the thing is, anytime you want to do anything physical, I'm I'm happy about it. Even though like what I want to do isn't what you want to do all the time. I think it's a compromise. I mean, so many. So many people wouldn't be near as physical. Like if I wanted to go on a five mile walk today, he'd be down. So um, I definitely, I definitely. So like try not to when girls want to go on picnics or like brunches, guys that's really don't like to do that. To know. <laughs> because the problem is, is I'm like, okay, that's cool. But, or we could just eat something and then go for a walk because that's practical. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like impracticalities. Girls like to slow things down just for the hell of it. <laughs> so like we could just like go get a good sweat in go walk in i could slap your butt things could be great we could have a good walk right <laughs> or we could go do the same thing but have to stop have a picnic get bit <laughs> by some bugs it's stress of the day get a sunburn you know it's just girls like to slow things down for no reason. <laughs> you're all about the idea i'm all about you that sounds good <laughs> yeah or we could just eat on the way and then go you know so it's just one of those things man but I'm the type of person, I'm a go, go, go. You like to take it slow sometimes. So <laughs> I think that's a female trait. Opposed Possibly. To female trait. Yeah. I I just think that's funny. Because boyfriend stuff? Yeah. There's lots of boyfriend stuff too. What's up? Like having to watch, having to watch shorts that you don't want to watch. Mm -hmm. Like having to watch, having to watch clips of your gameplay. Or like if we play tennis and you're sore and tired, I'm just never sore and tired. I'm just yeah. ready to go 24 seven that too yeah but you know at the end of the day we need each other we're a great team <laughs> i just thought bill burr was so funny man thank you guys so much for hanging out for real let us know in the comment section what's the next comedian that we need to check out i really want to check out some female comedians 
and I yeah. really want to check out some. Mm -hmm. Well, to be honest, we just we really just need to diversify that part of our channel because 97% of you are guys. Exactly. That's pro probably what it is. So we need to check out some female comedians, man. Let us know who are some of the funniest ladies out there right now. We'll check them out. Maybe a lot of the jokes will be at my uh, expense <laughs> opposed to yours. <laughs> so that'll be really interesting. Hopefully I can be a tenth of the sport as you are. Um, <laughs> we both know in real life I am not. And yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one.